though I was hurting really bad, I just made a point to like look at the crowd and take it on. Cause he works so hard, you know. Like this is the part that's really, really fun. And so just like soak in as much as you can, even if you're in pain. Cause you want to look back on it and be like, oh, I really enjoyed that moment. So yeah. As far as the marathon goes, that it is a, a wave of, of emotions and comfort and discomfort. And I think the biggest lesson I learned in the marathon is that when things start to get tough, they get better again. So at mile 11, if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't feel good. I'm supposed to feel good until eight, mile 18 or 20, that you can feel terrible for a half mile and then feel great again, feel like a rock star. Everyone feels amazing on First Avenue because of the crowds, but just knowing that it's it's a wave, it's a cycle, it, and you just gotta, you just gotta flip. Quick story, like, one time I remember I was doing a workout in San Diego along Coronado, and I was working out with my teammate Scott Laws, and we were supposed to do this really hard run, right? And it was super windy that day, so we were gonna trade off miles, because it's so windy. So uh, Scott starts off, and like I said, it's supposed to be a really hard effort, really hard run, and we're just like, I'm tucked in right behind Scott, and we're just like jogging. And I was like, Scott, what are we doing? Like, this is supposed to be like a really hard run, right? And then I, it's my turn to take the lead after the mile. So I go in front of him, I'm like, I'm just gonna like rip this mile. I'm like, please, Scott, and us. And I, I get in the front, and all of a sudden I just feel this like thing, feels like I'm getting pushed in the chest backwards, you know? And we're, and then I look at my watch, and we're running the exact same pace, and it feels like I'm going like all out, like Usain Bolt style. <laughs> My point in telling the story is if it's windy, what you guys need to do is on the starting line, make friends with the biggest person. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm not, I'm not even behind them for as long as you can. Like, when you're running with the wind, it feels really warm. And then when you're running against the wind, you turn, it feels super cold. So like, I had my gloves and my hat. So like, I, I had them on and then I flipped and all of a sudden the wind was against me. And I got cold and I was glad that I just like tucked them in my shorts. So rather than like just taking your hat and just like, so I do that from time to time in the marathon, I'm like, oh, it's hot outside, time to kick, I'm going. <laughs> so you know, I throw my hat off. Instead of doing that, just like tuck it in your shorts. And tuck your gloves in your shorts because you might need them later on in the race. And be really relaxed and pretend it is just your, your Sunday long run or whatever day it is you do your long run. But it's just another long run, except this one's got, you know, a bit of catering and aid stations and, you know, 50 cows and your closest friends as well. So just enjoy it. Stay in that same relaxed mind frame that you do when you're enjoying your training days and, uh, you know, just keep moving forward. Amanda here. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me to the end. Don't forget, you can find all the links below. And if you've got questions for me, I love to talk running. Want to know how to get my shirt or anything else? Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. You can find me everywhere as Run to the Finish.